Welcome to our service of Holy Eucharist Rite 2. The entire service can be found in your worship bulletin. Uh, if you did not get one, we have plenty more in the back. When you see the hymns listed, the numbers are coming from this hymnal, the book. If you see an S listed, that means it is service music and at the very front of the hymnal. Uh, this is a celebration during Easter tide. Our Paschal candle continues to burn, and it happens to be preschool Sunday. We welcome all of you who have preschoolers who were once in preschool in your life, uh, and our teachers especially this morning. Alleluia! Christ is risen! The 
Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known and from you, no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. O God, whose Son Jesus is the good shepherd of your people, grant that when we hear his voice we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for our readings. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The rulers, elders, and scribes assembled in Jerusalem with Annas, the high priest, and Caiaphas, John, and Alexander, and all who were the high priestly family. When they had made the prisoners stand in their midst, they inquired, by what power or by what name did you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of people and elders, if we were our question today because of a good deed done to someone who was sick and are asked how this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Israel. Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders. It has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the first letter of John. We know love by this, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for one another. How does God's love abide in anyone who has the world's goods and sees a brother or sister in need and yet refuses help? Little children, let us love, not in word or speech, but in truth and action. And by this, we will know that we are from the truth and will reassure our hearts before him whenever our hearts condemn us. For God is greater than our hearts, and he knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have boldness before God, and we receive from him whatever we ask, because we obey his commandments and do what pleases him. And this is his commandment, that we should believe in the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another, just as he has commanded us. All who obey his commandments abide in him, and he abides in them. And by this we know that he abides in us, by the Spirit that he has given us. The word of the Lord. Jesus said, let the little children come. I invite any children who wish to hear the gospel up close to do so at this time. And you're welcome to stay for the children's homily of godly play today. And if at any point during the service you wish to, wish to see what is going on, you may step into the aisles with your parents' permission.
The Holy Gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. The hired hand, who is not the shepherd and does not own the sheep, sees the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and runs away. And the wolf snatches them and scatters them. The hired hand runs away because the hired hand does not care for the sheep. I am the good shepherd. I know my own and my own know me. Just as the Father knows me and I know the Father. And I lay down my life for the sheep. I have other sheep that do not belong to this fold. I must bring them also and they will listen to my voice. So there will be one flock, one shepherd. For this reason, the Father loves me, because I lay down my life in order to take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have power to lay it down, and I have power to take it up again. I have received this command from my Father. The Gospel of the Lord. I invite our director of family ministry, Miss Amy Tibbetts, forward at this time. Who is right you? behind me? You guys want to come and any children me? who wish to desire, and if anybody up here wishes to see a little bit closer, you're welcome to come down as well. Please be seated. <coughs> Can you guys see? You can sit on the floor if you want. Right. Okay, can everybody see the board? Okay, I'll stand up here. Hmm. I wonder what is in this box. I wonder if it's something valuable. It's gold colored. Gold is valuable, right? And it looks like a present. I wonder if it's a parable. Parables are valuable. Parables are given to us like a gift from Jesus. This looks like a gift. Parables are hard to get into. This has a lid. It's not that easy to jump in. Hmm. I think we just have to open it up and see what's inside. Let's see if there's anything to help us. Oh, I have something. I wonder what this is. What do you think this dirt? What do you think, Luke? A road. Or it's probably like something that they use in those farms like to grow crops. To grow crops. Emmy? Soil. To make a cross? What do you think, John? I think it's a tree, Sean? A road to a city? A path that leads you someplace. Nazareth to Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Mary, what do you think? You think it's a stick? Teddy? Part of a house? Well, let's see. Let's see. It doesn't help us much yet, does it? Let's see what else we have. Oh, we have another one. So if I put this here, maybe this is a road. Or maybe it's two crops. Joseph thinks crops. Oh. Well, or maybe maybe it's maybe it's a goalpost. Do you have some inside information, Vivian? Ah, oh, now we have an inside and an outside, and I think Vivian might be right. It's a sheep pen, a sheep fold. 
is what they call it. All right, let's see what else we have to get our story set up. We have a lot of sheep. Uh, oh, we have something green. Don't get ahead of us, Vivian. Some of our friends have heard the story a few times. Maybe it's a lily pad. Maybe it's um, grass. Maybe it's grass. I'm going to put it there. Maybe it is. Oh, I have something blue. It's a pond. The water they drink out of? You're sure this is water? Yes. All right. We're going to put this here. Thank you. Uh, oh, I have some pieces that are very dark. Can't see light through these. They're dark and they're kind of... Rocks. Okay. Oh, maybe they're dark and they're scary. The bad places. They're definitely dark. That's for sure. All right. I think we're set up. Now I think we just have to start our story. Are you ready? Are you ready to listen? Once there was a man who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people just had to follow him. And one day when they were following him, they asked him, what is the kingdom of heaven like? And the man said, well, the kingdom of heaven is like a good shepherd who knows each of his sheep by name. And when he calls them, they follow him because they know his voice and he knows each one of them. And so they follow wherever he leads. And sometimes he leads them to the good green grass. And they follow. And then he leads them to the cool, clear water. And they drink. And they're still following him. And then, sometimes he even has to lead them through the places of danger. And he leads them with his voice. And they follow. Does one get stuck? Shh. They follow him until he leads them all the way back safely to the sheepfold and he counts them all and calls them by name as they go in but he realizes one is missing so he leaves the sheep in the sheepfold and he goes back and looks and he goes to the good green grass and he goes we don't want them to get out do we and he goes to the cool, clear water. And he even goes to the places of danger. And when he finds his lost sheep, he puts him over his shoulder and carries him all the way back safely to the sheepfold. And he rejoices. Now, I wonder who these sheep really are. Teddy. Us. Is that what you were going to say, Sean? So, his followers? The disciples? Mm -hmm. Us? Can we be disciples? Sure. Who else could, who do you think these sheep might be, Piper? Mm hmm. Could be the shepherd. Emmy? Angels. Hmm. I wonder who this good shepherd really might be. Raylan. It'll be God. Emmy? You need to raise, raise your hand. Hmm? Jesus? Yes, Sean. It 
could really be anyone. Could these really be anyone also? Hmm. I wonder what these places of danger could be. Canyons. Joseph. Um, probably like, like there's like rocks all everywhere. Real, real rocks. Mm -hmm. I wonder if you've ever been lost. Have any of you ever been lost? Have you been lost, Vivian? And who found you? Your mom? Mom. So this good shepherd could be mom. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are there ways to be lost that aren't really getting lost? Like we're not lost in a grocery store, but we feel lost? That's hard, to, that's hard isn't it? It's hard to think about. I wonder what your favorite part of the story was. What was your favorite part of the story, Vivian? She said, when the good shepherd counted them all and noticed one was missing. Sean, what was your favorite part? Right, so you agree. You like that he counted the sheep. Mm -hmm. So the fact that he knew them all and could count them. Piper, is that what you were going to say? What are you going to say? When the good shepherd finds a sheep. The shepherd is kind. Yes, the shepherd is kind. Okay, so I want you guys to think about what, when you're lost, who helps find you when you're lost? And how does that feel? Your parents. Yeah, think about that. All right, friends. Did you want to say anything else, Will? Okay. Amen. Okay, you guys can go back to your parents. to thank Miss Amy out loud. And we've encountered the parable of the Good Shepherd in a new way. And on this preschool Sunday, we remember especially uh, that God has asked us to approach the kingdom as a little child. Uh, and entering the scripture in this new way opens it up. As I joked at the beginning of the service, we were all once preschoolers. And we have that promise that was in that prayer at our baptism, inquiring and discerning hearts, a way of continuing to approach the world in new ways. And if you ever want to look at different questions, walk with one of these kids and they will certainly find questions that you have not thought of. Um, and that applies to our scripture as well. The spirit moves in different ways and the message from the Spirit's movement from the Scripture will land in a new way from this. Thank you, Amy. Let us stand and affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed found in your bulletin or on the book, in the Book of Common Prayer, page 358. We say together, we believe in one God, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day, he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, 
With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us unite our hearts in prayer, saying in God of Red Resurrection, hear our prayer. For the church throughout the world, that as we celebrate the feast of Jesus' resurrection, we may, may renew our faith and strengthen our witness. In the Anglican cycle of prayer, we pray for the Anglican Church of Australia. In the Diocese of Virginia, we pray for Christ Alexandria, Good Shepherd Burke, St. John's McLean, and Verena, Richmond. We pray for St. Andrew's, Ramallah. God of resurrection, hear our prayer. For Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Bishop Stevenson, Harris, and Shand, our bishops. For Will, our priest. For Justin, our aspirant. For our prayer guilds, Stephen ministers, and for all of us ministers, that they may be wise in leadership, humble in service, and fearless in the face of evil. God of resurrection. For the governments of the world and its leaders, that they may practice compassion and reject the politics that use death and suffering as means of control. God of resurrection. For our planet Earth, that people may be good stewards of its resources and share in its abundance. God of resurrection. We pray for those places in our world and nation torn by violence or destruction, including Ukraine, Yemen, Sudan, Palestine, Israel, Japan, and Baltimore. For all those in need that they may receive a place of refuge, hope, and hospitality. God of resurrection. For our neighbors, our military, those who serve at home and abroad, and for all who serve the common good, that together we may dwell in harmony. We pray especially for those who are deployed, including Cameron. Are there others? God of resurrection. For our enemies, that we may love them and be agents of reconciliation in the name of Jesus. God of resurrection. For the gift of joy you give to us, we pray for the abundant thanksgivings we have in this life, especially for the marriage of Paul and Bill, naming out loud or in the silence of our hearts thanksgivings at this time. That we may have and cultivate grateful hearts. God of resurrection. For the sick and all of those in distress, praying especially for Bishop Michael Curry, John, Nancy, Andrea, Tony, Don, Marlene, Eve, Sally, Claudia, Alice, Ed, Janet, Larry, Rich, Darcy, Jesse, Sam, Ron, and Simone. For those newly added, including Wendy Tibbetts, Edward Hunter, and Rudolfo, and everyone else on our extended parish prayer list. We pray that they may find healing for their pain and be restored to fullness of life. We pray out loud or in the silence of our hearts for others who may need our prayers. God of resurrection, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have died, especially Linda Hunter, that we may see the hope in your eternal kingdom. We pray out loud or in the silence of our hearts for those who have died. God of resurrection. 
Almighty God, receive these prayers we offer, and by the power of your Holy Spirit, use us for the sake of the gospel of Jesus Christ. In the name of the resurrected Jesus Christ. God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry. We humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will, and walk in your ways, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ, strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. And now the peace of the Lord be always with you. Grant each other a sign of the peace as you feel safe to do so. Peace to everyone online. I won't pretend we actually have a lot of announcements today, and I do call your attention to the weekly net printed and the email that we send out every Wednesday. In addition, there's a family email if you're not on that. Ways to subscribe are on our website, uh, and if you don't know, just contact me if I'm the easiest one to find, and I'll point you right to those emails. Uh, thank, uh, I'm going to go to that one later. It is preschool Sunday, and I want to acknowledge uh, all of our preschoolers. I'm curious, uh, I asked this at 8 o'clock, we had a fair number of folks. How many of you first came to St. Andrews or first uh, found us through the preschool, one way or other, whether it's kids or yourselves? Yeah? Yep. A good number of folks. Uh, well, there's still registration open, by the way. <laughs> uh, and we have a few spots. It is a really popular preschool in our area. We have a few spots open. Uh, please do look at our preschool side of the website or just call the office. The number is also on our sign. And if you need to, our preschool director is here this morning, Ms. Tammy Phillips. And I would love at this time to pray over our preschool teachers and our director and our preschoolers. But first of all, can we see any of the preschool teachers who are present uh, with us this morning or administrators? I need you all to stand. And if you're on our preschool board, uh, we do have a board that helps govern and works with the preschool. Please raise your hand or stand. Thank you. I think most of our preschoolers have gone to the back. Am I correct? Yes. We will, but we will pray for them while they, wherever they are. Prayer is wireless. So, uh, let us pray for, with and for our preschool teachers. Gracious God, we give you thanks for the gift of preschool and that we have a place to cultivate inquiring and discerning hearts and the courage to will and to persevere. We pray for you to give our teachers and administrators courage, patience, love, and especially the gift of joy that is in their hearts to share with the youngest members of our world. We pray for you to give them guidance and courage at all places and in all times, and we give thanksgiving for their ministry to the world. All this we pray through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you, thank you, thank you. T uh, this is a special shout out to our director, Tammy Phillips. Tammy, I'm going to have to call you out. Come on. Oh, she's over there. I'll find you after the service. Thank you, Tammy. Uh, we also, in our back during the service, you often see. Uh, a whole ton of kids come in for the gospel and they stayed today um, and then you don't see them in, uh, you see a lot of kids in here which are always welcome in here 
uh, but they, a lot of the youngest ones stay with our, our paid staff in the back and our volunteers. And we have two who have been with us for quite some time and are also uh, needing to leave us at the end of this program year on May 19, I believe. And Margaret and Elliot, would you come forward? Just on behalf of, turn around so folks can see you. They are working tirelessly back there. Um, and thank you so much for your ministry with the kids. They love being back there so much. We have to make sure they, uh, it's hard to keep them out, quite honestly. Um, so thank you so much for the work you've been doing this year and always. You share a passion for it, not just a, a responsibility, but a passion to be with them. And it shows. I saw up here, they go to you. They flock to you. You are shepherds in our midst. Um, so in order to help you keep the energy levels up, which we don't know how you have given to us, we're just a small token to give you some more uh, energy from a local coffee shop with us. And for us to say, thank you for all you have done. I know that wherever you move to or go to college to, you are always welcome back here. Thank you very much. And Amy, again, thank you for your wonderful sermon um, and approaching the Montessori-style godly play. And it's something that we do at our preschool, in addition to during Children's Chapel while they are here. Again, continue to mark your calendars for May 5 as we celebrate Amy's ministry among us as she leaves for Oregon uh, at the end of May. Thank you, Amy. Beforehand, however, we're going to get our campus looking spotless for the celebration. May 4, there is a parish-wide cleanup. Call your attention to that. Directly after this service, we have a Shrine Mont Forum, which we will learn about Shrine Mont, the Episcopal Retreat Center that we retreat to at the end of October each and every year, and registration is open, and we encourage you to sign up and attend, but you might want to know what it is first. You might come to the forum and learn about it. In addition, there is a fund that's set aside that enables all of us to be able to go, uh, providing assistance, in addition to bringing people in and providing resources to help make it an incredible experience. Call your attention to that fund, which helps make a lot happen. BOMA Concert, Friends of Music and the Arts, 4 p.m. in this space. Monica Burney will be in here, world, uh, world-renowned world organist, and the console comes up front. You can see her feet moving. This place is an incredible acoustic environment to listen to such a concert. Uh, and it is a ministry. Friends of Music and the Arts is a ministry for the community, and it is provided at no charge. I encourage you, if you haven't come to one of these, it is incredible. Our instrument over here is amazing. It could fill a space twice as big as this. Uh, so come to the concert, and thank you to our Friends of Music and the Arts board, who works tirelessly to put these things together. Thank you. A few more things. Vacation Bible School registration is open this summer. Please do take a look. And second grade and under, uh, after the service, your formation is with the bubble lady. Be out front. The bubble lady is arriving soon. If you don't know what that is, go and check it out. And our third to fifth and sixth to eighth graders will be meeting in the multi-purpose room to help pack food for our local elementary school where kids might not have meals on the weekend. That is their formation today. And thank you, third through eighth graders, for your ministry and feeding hungry children today. And thank you to Richard and all who participate in Food for Friends, that wonderful ministry that helps feed those in particular need. And now walk in love as Christ loved us who gave himself for us an offering and sacrifice to God.
Eucharistic Prayer A is found in your worship bulletin and on page 361. The Lord be with you. Also Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father, Almighty Creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself, and when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, recalling his death, resurrection and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also, that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him, and with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thy is the kingdom. Are available upon request. To receive the wine you may drink, and taint which is to dip or hold the wafer over. To abstain from either or both and receive a prayer or blessing, simply cross your arms over your chest.
post-communion prayer can be found in your worship bulletin and on page 366. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, we thank you for feeding us with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and for assuring us in these holy mysteries that we are living members of the body of your Son and heirs of your eternal kingdom. And now, Father, send us out to do the work you have given us to do, to love and serve you as faithful witnesses of Christ our Lord, to him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit, the honor and glory, now and forever. Amen. To make sure, do we have our lay Eucharistic visitors present this morning? We will send them out at a different time. And now remember that life is short, and we have too little time to gladden the hearts of those who traveled away with us. So be quick to be kind. Make haste to love. And may the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be upon you this day and remain with you always. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Let us go forth into the world rejoicing in the risen Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia.